Oh, hey, Rose. I'm at St. Goretti High. What do you mean, what's the matter? It's the mansion, silly. I'm here, and you're... Jeez, we're on shift together. You promise... Oh, my God, please don't tell me you forgot... You chickened out! Calm down. You know I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. It really takes my breath away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. And even if they are, which they are not, they can't do anything. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. That was one time, Isabella. Loosen up. Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Okay, see you. Who was that? Oh, that? It's just Rose. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started? You're working together again? Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovations. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The R.S. Oh, wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. I mean, no offense, but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a sh They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make- They're desperate, I'm desperate, it's perfect. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me, or Ashton. We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Becca! I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Hey! I eat other things... That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year in any case. Those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. 
You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ah, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. will be back any minute. We can catch up later. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet! <coughs> hey, you sure you can manage on your own? I mean, you're still a bit feeble. Ah, uh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. on time. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. Rebecca! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Ermengarde Mansion? You know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village. I'm on my way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but... I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Shut up! <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever! to go inside that place, Miss. Is there something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in that house. Doesn't want to either. I admit they did a good job fixing it up. No wonder they want... But you never...
I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? Rose, come on. Where are you? Uh, I'm... What? The attic? Why? Isabella? Isabella? 